Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 45th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the return statement. Now in the last tutorial we saw that um, while calling a function from the main function you can pass values as arguments, right? And uh, you can do that not only through the main function but let's say you have a function called a in your program and in that function you're calling a function called b and uh, if you want to pass values to b through a then you can do that in the same way as we passed values from main to the function capitals in the previous tutorial right so it's not that you know that method would just apply if you would call a function from main no matter what function you're calling from you can follow that procedure right but what we're going to try to understand in this tutorial is how we can pass a value from the called function to the calling function right so as i said in the pre previous tutorial if you wanted to pass a value from the capitals function to the main function you had to use a statement called return and that is what we're going to check out in this tutorial so as you can see using code blocks i've saved a file i've given it the name return underscore statement and uh, it has the extension dot c on line one in this file i have uh, my header file and i don't have any more code so we're going to type in all the code that we need for the program now what we're going to do in this program is have a function called add and uh, it's going to return a value of the integer data type. So firstly, we're not going to use the void data type while declaring the function also while defining it. We'll have to use in the keyword int and uh, also it's going to accept two arguments. It's going to accept the uh, values of two numbers, both will be integers and it's going to add those values and return the value back to the calling function or the main function, right? So let's get started. I'll type in int, uh, just a moment, let me get my cursor in the file, so int and then the name of the function which I said is going to be add and then within parentheses I have to type in the keyword int twice as I said earlier this function is going to have uh, two arguments, it's going to receive two arguments so that's why you'll have to type in int twice and that's going to complete the parameter list and the function declaration so I'll put in a semicolon to terminate the statement. On the next line I'll type in the keyword main and then the parentheses for main and then the curly braces and uh, I'll declare the variables that are going to hold the values of the numbers that we're going to pass to the uh, add function so I'll call my variables a and b and also I'll create a variable called result and this variable is going to hold the uh, result of the addition of a and b or in other words, you can say that it's going to hold the value that will be returned to us by the function add, right? On the next line, I'm going to ask the user to enter the numbers. So enter two numbers and uh, semicolon to terminate this statement. Then I'm going to use scanf to get the values of uh, the two variables. And I, of course, I'll have to type in the percentage D format specifier twice because A and B both are integers and then the address of operator the first variable that's a a comma and then the ampersand symbol or the address of operator and the name of the second variable which is b on the next line i'm going to call the add function with a and b as arguments but since the function add is going to return a value and since we would need some variable to store that value in i'm not going to call the add function just like that instead I'm going to assign the result of the calling of add function to the variable called result, right? So I've declared result already in the main function and uh, when I'll call add, add is going to add the values of a and b within its body and then it's going to return the result of the addition and that value will be stored in the variable result and we're going to see how uh, add is going to do what it's supposed to do, right? So uh, the main function is not complete yet. We'll have one more statement in it but before we type in the printf statement to display the result let's first uh, see the code that's going to be in the add function so again i'll type in uh, int because add is going to return an integer and then the name of the function that's add and i'll be needing dummy parameters here or formal parameters because uh, the values of a and b have to be stored in local variables in the add function right so instead of just typing int twice i'll type in int x and then int y and this is going to uh, complete the parameter list for the function definition and then since uh, x and y are going to have the values of a and b to add them and then to store the value in something i'm going to need a variable i'll call it z and uh, on the next line i'll do the addition 
and uh, I'll assign the result of the addition to the variable z and that's pretty simple x plus y that's all we need and then I'll type in the keyword return right so this is new we're checking out the return keyword for the first time I guess in this uh, course uh, we haven't spoken about it but its syntax was pretty similar you type in return and then you type in the name of the variable that you wish to return or the value that you wish to return right so it's pretty simple you just type in return z and this is going to do the job for you right so uh, the add function is complete here and as i said we'll have to type in a printf statement in main to display the result of the addition operation so within double quotes i'll first have the new line escape sequence and then uh, i'll type in the result of addition operation is i'll need the percentage d format specifier to display the value of the result variable on screen and i put a semicolon to terminate this and the program is complete i'll click on build and run to see the output there you go in the output window you see the message enter two numbers so if i type in 10 and 5 i see that i get the message the result of the addition operation is 15 right and let me execute the program again with different values so 100 and uh, 50 and you see that the result of the addition operation is 150 so what the add function is doing here is it's getting values from the main function and uh, you know our x and y here are formal parameters and a and b are actual parameters so we've asked the user to enter numbers the user enters values and those values are stored in the variables a and b using the scanf function then those values are passed as arguments to the function add right and a and b here are actual parameters and the value of a gets copied to the variable x the value of b gets copied to the variable y and then inside the add function we have another variable called z and z is going to store the result of the addition of x and y right so x and y are basically placeholders for values of a and b so you're basically adding a and b here and then you are returning the value of the addition back to the main function using the return statement and that value is getting stored in the variable result and then we're using printf to display the value of result so I just wanted this tutorial to be simple that's why I didn't think of uh, you know doing something fancy and uh, I hope you guys, you guys have got a hang of the return statement and uh, we might be using it in this course uh, a few more times so you know if uh, we add more functionality to it or if we do something fancy using the return statement then I'll point out uh, you know the added functionality uh, then and there but for the time being this is all you need to know about return and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial another thing that I want to tell you is that if suppose uh, what you're returning is not of integer data type but is of float data type then all you have to do is change the uh, keyword int here to float and also in the function declaration statement over here on line 2 you would have to change int to float so you have to figure out uh, the kind of value that your function is returning so if it's returning an integer you put an int if it's returning a float then you put in float if it's returning double then put double or if it's returning a character then you put in a character if it's returning nothing then of course you know what you have to do you have to put in void so that's it and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to check out something interesting for sure so please stay tuned for updates and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon